Today I want to share with you my street photography settings, how I set them up and the reasons behind them. Let's rock and roll! We are out today for the first time in seven days. And man, it feels amazing. In today's video, I'm gonna be swapping my 18 to 55 millimeter lens that you've seen on most of my POV shots. With this one, which is 35 F2, I have actually bought it about a year ago, but when it comes to street photography, I've never used it. So I am excited, but I'm equally nervous to see how I'm gonna to do today. And obviously all the pictures you're gonna to see today in this video will be shot on this lens. If you wanna dive in straight away into my street photography settings, I've dropped some time codes in the description box below, so go and check them out, so it makes your life a little bit easier when it comes to navigating this video. Also, I will be sharing my initial thoughts on this lens at the very end of this video, so there is something for you to look forward to. When it comes to street photography, especially settings for street photography, I think it's very important to start from shutter speed and that's what we're going to do now. When it comes to shutter speed settings, here's my take on it, guys. I like to uh, set up my shutter speed to 1 to 150th because it just works perfectly well with my style of photography. I like to capture people on the street, standing, reading maps, checking their phones, sometimes even smoking or sitting in a park. And 1 to 150th is a perfect setting for slower moving subjects. Sometimes I can bump it up to 1 500 and even 1 1000, but that's almost the sports territory here. When it comes to ISO, I shoot on auto, but I do have digitally set up a setting where it doesn't go above 1600. However, if I need to override it, I can do easily so by just unclicking this button and just changing it here manually and voila. I have been shooting like that for the past couple of months and it's perfect whenever I'm walking from sunny corner to a shade corner, so then I need to bump up my ISO and it's, it's really, comfortable. <laughs> the only thing I have to worry about when I'm in an environment is aperture. Honestly, Fuji system is amazing. They have the aperture on the lens here and it's so comfortable. I naturally rest my hands here so for me changing the aperture could not be any easier and thank you Fuji for making it so user-friendly. And depending on how much of the image I would like to have in focus, I will be changing my aperture accordingly. I hear you guys asking, Polina, but what about having the fullest dynamic range range of the image so I can have the most flexibility in post-production. Lately I've been exposing for highlights and it's been an absolute game changer and let me tell you why. By using this small little technique in my street photography, it's been an absolute game changer. Like many of you guys, I've been absolutely married to my meter mode being zero because we all want to get this full dynamic range so then when we go to post-production, we have as much flexibility as possible. But exposing for highlights is absolutely more than enough. You can always bump up your shadows rather than the other way around. And frankly, I'm still questioning why I haven't done this before because it's just such an amazing technique. And by just using this little technique, instead of fidgeting the setting, I can be more in the environment, just be in that space and be ready to snap the shot whenever the opportunity arises. And I guys recommend you to try it out and see whether that will help in your street photography. Okay? And now is the time to share my initial thoughts on this gorgeous 35mm f2. Just to highlight, these are just my first impressions as I will be doing a whole POV shoot just with this lens. So if you guys want to follow along, subscribe to this channel and follow hashtag Classic Nation Official on Instagram to see all the pictures that I do with this amazing camera. Now, back to this lens. <laughs> I usually shoot with 18 to 55, so with this lens, I felt like I just was missing the wider angle shots and I just couldn't zoom in as close as I'm used to. So I just felt like I was either too far away or too 
you're close to the subject. But this lens is super sharp. So whenever I actually manage to get a shot, beautiful. It's super tiny, so I felt really discreet taking pictures on the streets and I felt really, really comfortable, almost like a fish in the water. And it's also weather resistant, so it definitely helps on a day like this when it's gray skies and it can literally start raining anytime soon. Enough about this, let's come back to my street photography settings. I just want to point out that these are my street photography settings. They might not necessarily be the same as yours, but hopefully they will give you an idea of how I'm shooting and perhaps they might help you as well. Just until very recently, I've been shooting everything on JPEG. And if your question is whether Fuji Systems JPEG is of a high quality, and if you enjoyed the images on my last three POV videos, then the answer is yes. But I have switched to RAW now. <laughs> Without further ado, Let's jump in into my settings. Yes, let's go and do it. Very excited, very excited. Let's jump in. So here, guys, are my settings. Two things you need to know from the very get-go. I shoot on RAW and lossless compressed, just because my images more often than not end up on digital platforms only, such as website, Facebook, Instagram. So I really don't need any bigger files than that. When it comes to focus modes, I shoot on continuous focus. I like that flexibility that it gives me, especially when it comes to street photography when I'm out and about. But if I have a little bit more time to spend on the frame, I will change it to manual focus. Very easy to be done here. So I set up my ISO on auto here and my shutter speed dial on T here. And the reason for that is that I can then go into the camera mode, sorry, camera icon here and set up my minimum and maximum settings for ISO and my minimum shutter speed. So my minimum shutter speed for my street photography is 1 to 150th. My minimum ISO is 160 and maximum is 1600. And the beauty of these settings are that if I need to increase my ISO, I can manually just override it here. Very easy and I've been doing it now for a couple of months and never had any problems. Moving forward, whenever I'm on manual focus and I need to check whether I actually got my focus correct, I have AFL button here that helps me to punch in and see whether I've nailed the focus. Very, very convenient. My AEL button is now a face and eye detection, but that's back from the event shooting days. I like to set up my white balance and not to shoot an um, auto white balance just because I'm always pretty much in the same scene and I don't really like to jump in my post editing between the white balances. It kind of makes my life a little bit easier in post-production. Today I was shooting during the midday and my white balance was 5300. When it comes to film simulations, I usually shoot on Eterna. I really like the colors and the tones that it gives me, but at the same time I'm also shooting on RAW, so I still have plenty of flexibility in post-production, so pretty good there. I use single focus point here and whenever I'm looking at the frame through the viewfinder I'm using this thumbstick here to adjust this focus point and I just love that flexibility. I can tell the camera exactly what to focus on and that's been basically my preferred shooting you know mode for quite some time now. So here you go guys these are my settings they're here to make my street photography process as easy as possible so I'm just ready whenever I see the frame to snap those images. I wish I could tell you that settings are not important, but they kind of are. Camera is your tool, so learn it and use it to your best ability. So once you are on the streets, you have the freedom to take the pictures that you want. Thanks so much guys for watching. I'm Classic Polly and I will see you in my next video.